A lady whose husband died and left her three children, the eldest of whom was 10 years old, and he left her no money. And when her neighbor Fathi learned about her condition, he remembered the saying of the Messenger of Allah, the courier for the widow and the poor man is like a mujahid for the sake of Allah, and he decided to help her without her knowledge. So he paid all her overdue rent and also paid what she owed to the grocer and recommended them not to mention his name to her. And he also agreed with one of the postmen from his friends to hand her a monthly amount that he had allocated to her all his life without also knowing his name and telling her the amount was from the state so as not to embarrass her this lady did not like Fatihi and whenever she saw him she looked at him angrily. She also talked about him with her neighbors badly and she claims that despite his wealth he is stingy and does not believe in anyone and she often cursed him in a whisper whenever she met him and he met her actions with a smile and tolerance and even went to his niece who works as a teacher at the school where the lady's son study and asked her to give them free lessons and buy clothes for them at his expense as a reward for their good grades. The niece agreed and approached the lady and her sons with Without telling them about the kindship of Fathi. Three years later, Fathi died, and the lady was surprised by the unprecedented number of people praying to him and praising him with all the best. And the biggest surprise was when she found his niece coming and crying a lot. And when she asked her about her connection with Fathi, she told her that he was her uncle. She did not say anything and remained in great surprise. A few days later, the dates came for receiving the lady's monthly salary, but the postman did not come to her, so she went to his house to reapproach him severely for being late and he told her that Fatih was the one who had been giving this amount of money away all his life and the amount was cut off after his death so the lady was shocked after hearing the news and deeply regretted it and she began to reapproach herself while crying he was treating me well in secret and I insulted him in public the postman said to her affected and Allah is the ideal we all sin like you against our creator. For Allah Almighty is good to us secretly and we do not know. And we disobey him openly and he knows. My sister, you have to correct the mistake and confess thanks to the man after his death and not judge people unknowingly. The lady went to Fatihi's niece and offered her condolences and she also cried from sadness and surprise when she learned that it was her uncle who asked her to help her and that he was never angry with her and even recommended a pension for her and her children. Years later, the lady's son became prominent businessman and she built a mosque in the name of Fatihi as a charity for him and thanks to him, she and her sons became grateful to them. يا أيها الذين آمنوا اركعوا واسجدوا واعبدوا ربكم وافعلوا الخير لعلكم تفلحون وجاهدوا في الله حق جهاده هو اجتباكم وما جعل عليكم في الدين من حرج ملة أبيكم إبراهيم هو سماكم المسلمين من قبل وفي هذا ليكون الرسول شهيدا عليكم وتكونوا شهداء على الناس فأقيموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة واعتصموا بالله هو مولاكم فنعم المولى ونعم النصير